In today's video, I've got five facts about Jail Murdoch from the series Plunderer slash a character analysis video. We will be going over Jail's bio, abilities in the anime, his voice actors, what his count is, and more. Now, a quick warning that there will be spoilers, so just a heads up. For more weekly anime character fact videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Anyway, with that being said, let's roll intro and get straight into the video. Jail is the second main protagonist of the Plunderer anime and manga, who made his debut in episode 3 of the anime and chapter 3 of the manga. He is a squad leader with the rank of lieutenant of the Althea Royal Guard and a commander of the Gefangnis. Probably butchered that. That is a special troop. Jail is a male human whose age is unknown and is quite tall. Sorry, no exact height here. You know who you are. Jail has short icy blue and white hair and has a fair skin complexion. His hair is worn in a cool slick back kind of way and has a long accent piece on his fringe that matches the colour of his iron. His eyes are also a light blue colour. As for attire, he wears a military uniform that consists of a long blue coat with white trimmings and a lot of belts as well as an armband on his left arm, blue trousers with black boots and black gloves as well as of course his glasses. Jail's character design is based on Sugata Ishiro from Sora no Otoshimono, which is author and plunderer creator Minazuki Su's work. And according to the anime's director Kanabi Hiroyuki, Jail is Minazuki's favourite character. Personality-wise, Jail has all the traits of someone who is a proper lieutenant type that is very by the books, if you will, and of course, as such, has a very strong sense of justice. He has a very attention to detail like mindset and as we have heard from him in every episode, the main component that his character is built around is his convictions and how he follows and believes in said convictions. His convictions are the very core of how his decisions are made that have led him to many a success. An odd one but one that is worth mentioning to give you a fuller picture of his character, especially in this series with all of its fan service, is how Jail seems to not have any form of a sex drive. As especially when compared to like a character such as Licked, as an example, Obs. Jail has been shown to see a few of the female characters completely naked and his only reaction was to tell them to lose weight while maintaining his cold facial expressions. Jail's Japanese voice actor is Umihara Yuichiro. He has voiced other characters such as Goblin Slayer in Goblin Slayer, Goro from Darling in the Franks, Seiya in Cautious Hero, Manabu Horikita from Classroom of the Elite, and more. Jail's English voice actor is David Matranga. He has voiced other characters such as Shoto Todoroki in My Hero Academia, Wave from Akame Ga Kill, Bertholdt in Attack on Titan, Hinata Hidekai from Angel Beats, and more. Jail is without a doubt a beast when it comes to combat, and this is because he has a few awesome abilities. We're obviously starting out with his iron manipulation ability, in which he can create iron at will. He can turn any of this iron into things such as usable tools or objects, weapons, and even some semi-living constructions such as the iron devil, iron pillars, and iron gloves. He also uses the iron not only to construct things, but to just simply use in combat. He can fire multiple iron shapes towards his enemy or desired target. Jail is also a pretty fast guy, not as fast as Licked of course, but he can come pretty close to him. Continuing with Jail's many abilities, Deflection. We have seen Jail survive some wounds that would be fatal to most, but because of his strong will and of course, his convictions, he has survived these, even later on in the series he will deflect bullets from others that lack the same resolve as him. Jail's convictions have gifted him some pretty amazing abilities as we have just listed, not 
just combat related but still handy is lie detection. Anyone with less conviction than him will be unable to lie to Jail as he will detect this. Now, spoilers. Later on in the series, Jail will have a ballot and this gives him a blast ability that allows him to control fire, manipulate these flames as explosions or bombs and to release fire blasts at a specific target. Pretty, pretty awesome stuffs. Jail, as we know, is one of many characters to conceal their true count, or its actual number in this case. Jail's count stands for his convictions, of course. The more of his convictions that he sticks to or meets will, of course, increase his count, or decrease his count if he was to do the opposite. I mentioned a second ago that he conceals his count. He tends to bear the number 900 on his right glove so that his number is not going to get him a promotion to a higher rank that would have him stuck behind a desk as his convictions are on the battlefield. His actual count when we first met him was 12,500. This of course dropped to about 12,999 after the events of that episode. Later on in the series where Licht loses it, Jail activates his second glove and his count is shown to be an amazing 45,000 showing us viewers just how high his piercing convictions are. Now, more spoilers just to finish this one off, okay? So later on in the series, Jay will have a star theft bound against Alexandrov and will lose, which drops Jail's count down to just one. I, I know. Alexandrov will give Jail his ballot, which makes his current count at that stage 325,000. Damn. But thanks for watching this is my video, five facts about Jail Murdoch from the series Plunderer. I hope you enjoyed the video, and of course, if you'd like to see more characters from this series, just let me know in the comments. And now, quick shout out to Warwick and Animator22 for supporting me on Patreon, as well as the beautiful bunch displayed on the screen, and of course, the rest of you supporting me on the other tiers. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for supporting me. If you're interested in what rewards I have to offer on my Patreon, the link is below. Don't forget to smash the like button if you enjoyed this video. Check out my other links in the video description and subscribe for more anime content. Till next time, my fellow weebs. Peace.